Fuck off of me. Like, you can't tell. I am Chantel and welcome back to my channel. I have decided to make a video on some of the best drugstore lotions and perfumes that are associated with them. I know I like smelling like stuff. I like smelling like baby powder, baby stuff. I like smelling like food. Lotions is no different. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, I have done my best to find the cheapest price for all of these. So I put more than one link in there so that you can have options to choose for, from. Okay, so my favorite lotion, it comes as no surprise to y'all, is the Cherry Almond Scent. Now that is a scent that I have been wearing for a very, very long time and I just love the sweet yet clean essence to the perfume. It doesn't really give me a lot of almonds, so to say, but it does give me a nice cherry that is smoothed out. I guess you could say by almond if that's the note that we want to use. One of the first perfumes that I found that was reminiscent to this is the Carol's Daughter Almond Cookie Perfume. Now, even though it says it smells like almond cookie, it does not smell like cookies that come straight out of the oven. To me, this does have a very heavy almond presence to it, but there's also something kind of musky about it that makes it clean, which makes it smell a lot like the Johnson's Cherry Almond Lotion. It only lists a couple of notes like some marzipan, some almond, some vanilla, as well as some sandalwood. I don't really get a lot of the marzipan. I don't get... Um, some of the vanilla either. I mainly get like a soft creamy almond which may be creamed out by the marzipan. Some of the sandalwood which may be what is going um, musky on me but this is the closest that I have found. Now after years of me emailing them and people I'm pretty sure I ain't the only one. That's what I know one child. I actually won a perfume from a giveaway that they had on or not Amazon but on um, Instagram. Now to me this one smells very similar to this, which is to tell you a lot, but it's also very musky. I was expecting more of that creamy almondness. It's a nice scent, um, and it is something that layers well with the Johnson Almond, but again, it is really musky on my skin, and it comes off very clean. While it is nice, I definitely wouldn't say it smells exactly like the lotion. Is it able to be layered with the lotion? Yes. Does it have that cherry almond essence to it yes but it is very much dominated by that musky clean cleanliness that i get in it but yeah here's the bottle if y'all want to see how it looks aloes i don't i don't really find a lot of aloe scents however what i have been finding finding is green tea scents that is very similar to the essence that the aloe uh, perfumes give off First being one by Victoria's Secrets, and this is the body mist, and it's called the Cucumber and Green Tea Refresh Scent. Now this one, it does have a heavy cucumber presence to it, so it's not just strictly aloe or green tea, but <laughs> it layers so nice with this that I just couldn't leave it out. It also is a very light scent, and it's also very clean. It's one of those scents that make me feel confident, not necessarily because I feel like a boss or anything like that, but because I know I smell clean, fresh, and safe, and I know I smell like something as safe as the Jurgens Aloe Lotion, yeah, I wear this when I'm just like running errands and I know I'm going to be passing people and I want my scent trail to smell really good. Yeah, Again, this... I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the Johnson's lotions because I made another video that y'all can check out about different baby powder and baby product scented perfumes. So, but I did want to mention a couple of honorable mentions here. First is the Pink Johnson's Lotion, the Moisture Love Johnson's Lotion. Everybody knows what that one is. The one, the one of the perfumes that I have in my collection that is very reminiscent to this is Bargarlan, and it's called the Instant Magic, or Magic. I don't know. Oh, this is so good. It's sweet. It's creamy, it's powdery, it has some iris in it, and I'm not, or violet in it, and I'm not even a violet fan like this, but violet is a very feminine floral that gives some airy sweetness to something. And it has some vanilla in it. Oh, it's so good. Now, it's not as creamy as the Johnson's um, 
pink lotion but it does layer very well with it it has lots of notes in it which i'll put those on the screen and i think the initial notes has some like lemon and bergamot so the initial blast is supposed to be very fruity don't get that at all <laughs> For me, it goes straight into the mimosa, rose, and carnation, um, like scent combination there. Because when I spray it, I'm getting that freesia that's very, very sweet, and I'm getting that violet that just gives that feminine <laughs> floral essence to it. And then it gets to the dry down pretty quickly for me. That almond that makes it really creamy, the white musk that gives it that fresh edge that combines with the freesia and then there's a sandalwood and cedar combination which helps it sit closely on my skin this is one that i love to wear i don't wear it a lot because it was a point in time it was discontinued but they brought it back out i guess we i guess we was yelling at them enough i'll find a link again and post that below for y'all but i wear this very sparingly um because i love it so much Oh my gosh, when I shower with the Johnson's um, Moisture Wash and I put on that lotion, baby, and I put this on and then seal all that in with the Johnson's baby oil, mm -mm, don't talk to me. Like, you can't tell me nothing. Another Johnson's lotion that we're going to talk about, and then I'm going to be off Johnson, I promise, is the Johnson's um, Bedtime Bath Lotion. And that one is supposedly is a, like a lavender and chamomile scent but on johnson's website down here they, they don't list cal, uh, lavender as one of their scents it's like peach and some other di or peach apricot and some other different things the lotion or the perfume that i like to layer with that that is reminiscent to that is born lovely by Tara jessica parker i actually got this from amazon for really really cheap i think it was like under 35 dollars i'll link that for y'all too one it has a very floral base base and it also does not have lavender nor does it have chamomile in it it does have some peony and some mandarin orange in it some freesia orange blossom i'm noticing that a lot of these have freesia in it i told y'all freesia is the clean girls freight of floral and i'm just telling y'all and then it has a base of some woods and some patchouli and some caramel i'm very patchouli sensitive so i don't get a lot of patchouli in it thank god but i do get some caramel that sweetens it up to me it smells like a sweeter version of the johnson's lavender lotion as i told y'all except it doesn't have that peachy essence that the lavender does have in it and it does have something a little bit musky in it that makes it i don't know project off the skin a little bit goodbye it's cheap one of my favorite lotion scents of all times is the nivea soft cream not just like the livia in the blue bottle but the one that's called the soft cream because to me i know this is going to sound really weird but that smells like the adult version of a baby lotion it's very soft it's very sweet it's also kind of musky kind of vanillic as well and it also has something in it that is kind of like reminiscent of something edible but it's not gourmand well a few years back probably about 10 years ago Nivea actually released a perfume and they actually released it from Germany and it is literally the Nivea E or the toilet oh this is it this is the Nivea soft cream like I there's no other way to describe this outside of it being the Nivea soft cream and look at this beautiful bottle that it, it has well, look below under the timestamps for this one and i will try to do my be best to link y'all it has some top notes of some lavender in it it also has some bergamot and some mandarin orange in it and then it has again that lily freesia um rose one two combination and i think it also has some ylang ylang in it then the dry down it has powdery notes and sandalwood and that is a very good description of how it smells as well it's just if you grew if you if you love the nivea soft cream you love that powdery sweet lily of the valley um like creamy oh my gosh love this love this love this if you can get your hands on it get it okay okay so now we are going into the eos vanilla cashmere lotion now when i was thinking about drugstore lotions when i made this video i was thinking about those old school but i think the eos vanilla cashmere like it came in hot and it stand that way and it deserved its own piece in this video so there's a couple of things to me that this smells like another one that i would suggest let me go grab it this one is for the girls a little bit more to spend in their budget and this is by mason mataha and this is escapade gourmand 
um if <laughs> eos vanilla cashmere came out with a perfume and literally gave it amazing lasting power amazing siage this would be it this one is extremely hard to find you can find it i'll link where you can find it and it and like and i've been looking for this for about a year and it just came back in stock like a month ago but i'll link the places where i purchased it and where it possibly is still in stock but Oh my God, it supposedly is an extract day perfume, so that's why it lasts so long. For me, vanillic and Grimace scents don't last so long, so I am very surprised that this does last. Notes of like sugarcane, benzoin, vanilla, tonka, and I wanna say some musk at the end. Oh my gosh, it smells, like I don't even wanna spray it because it's so expensive. And I just got my bottle. I just got my bottle maybe like two weeks ago and look at it. Like it's like a merge between Vanilla Bean Noel for the old school people, Vanilla Bean Noel and Vanilla Lace. Like that musk from the Vanilla Lace, but the old school Vanilla Bean Noel with put it together in a thousand cent intensity. So if you're the type of a girl, you got a little bit of money in your budget and you got about 200 to put this to the side, yeah, get this. Or if you're the type of person, you just really want one vanilla and you don't mind spending that money because you good, there we go. The next one that I have is Palmer's Cocoa Butter Lotion. And to me, our rehab Choco Musk is the closest that you will find to the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Lotion. It layers very well with the oil as well. Now, Fragrantica could have all different types of notes, like some cinnamon in there, which I will list on the screen. I'm not gonna really get into it because to me, it smells like cocoa butter and Tootsie Rolls. And it's a very soft scent, so it doesn't project very well loud. I wear this when I want to feel well, smell sweet and edible, but I'm around people that have fragrance sensitivities or kind of get weird about fragrances. This is the perfect scent here. This is my second bottle in like six months. That's how much I love this stuff. So you love Palmer's Cocoa Butter scent? Well, it's a vanillic scent with some chocolate in there, so it's not straight hardcore dark chocolate, and it's not white chocolate, which is too smooth by the vanilla. It's just a nice little creamy merge there. Yeah, try Choco Musk. And again, I linked where you can find it the cheapest. I think that is it for today. If you have stayed along this far with me, we are real and in